How are Spurs challenging for Champions League spots when their underlying numbers aren't that great? I think part of the reason is to do with Ange Postacoglu's interesting approach to game state. But what is game state? Well, it's anything that could impact the way that a team are playing. For instance, if a team are 1-0 up with only a few minutes to go, they might be less concerned about trying to score another goal. Scoreline and time are important game state factors then. And Postacoglu referenced both in a recent interview after Spurs' narrow win against Brighton, saying, the clock on the scoreboard shouldn't dictate how we play. So Spurs ignore game state in their matches. But how does this play out on the pitch? Well, it means Spurs don't attempt to control games, unlike other teams at the top of the table. Instead, they look to attack across the full 90 minutes, which means that they often generate big chances at the end of games, but also concede big chances at the end of games. Now, that's fine when you have a Ford who finishes at the rate Son has this season, or a goalkeeper who saves at the rate Vicario has this season. But in the long run, it might not prove to be the most sustainable way of challenging at the top of the Premier League.